And so tonight, let's clap together. Yes. For Captain Tom. Yes. At 6 p.m. We will. And let's clap for the spirit of optimism uh, that he stood for. But let's also clap for all those he campaigned for our brilliant NHS staff and care workers. Lovely story coming up. A 99-year-old war veteran has decided to walk 100 lengths of his back garden. He wants to raise money for the NHS. Every day I'm doing about 10, what I call a lap of, of the house. I do 10 each day so that eventually I'll get the 100. You're an inspiration to us all, and we thank you. Thanks, Captain Tom! Thanks, Captain Tom! And there he goes. Let's give him a big round of applause. <laughs> hundred laps of his garden during lockdown. All of the money going to NHS charities. A guard of honour from the 1st Battalion, the Yorkshire Regiment. Inches to go, and there he is. Congratulations. Well done. I'm surrounded by the right sort of people, so uh, yes, I feel fine. I hope you're all feeling fine too. <laughs> yeah, we are, of course, going to go out and clap for Captain Sir Tom Moore. Come on then. Hey. Yeah, you can hear it. Extra raisins. Raisins are really, really good for iron, um, so I'm going to add those to my diet. Spinach, kale. I cooked a really iron rich um, chili last night with really lean beef, 5%, and I threw in a great big bunch of spinach as well, just stirred it into the mix. Um, the boys didn't complain, so. I mean, I'm no Nigella at all. I'm not really a massive, great big fan of cooking even. I like cooking, but I'm not a big lover of cooking. Like anyone, you probably have days where you really want to cook and you enjoy it, and others where you just can't be bothered, man. Morrison's. It's like tipping down. <laughs> Goodness. The good thing is, I am starting to feel really more like me again. Um, I've been obviously recovering for a little while now, but I really do feel like I'm almost back to being 100%. Anyway, I'm going to cook something nice tonight. I'm going to cook chicken, bacon, and leek pie. I'm sure the boys are going to love that. 
I'm making a cookie dough dessert thingy. Don't even know what I'm making. It's gonna have chocolate chips in it. I know that for a fact. Um, so yeah, this probably isn't gonna end well, but we'll give it a shot. Right. It's in the oven. This. I got a bad feeling about this. Ah, we'll see how we are. Should be fine. Wow, well, Mark. Looks good. So you followed a actual recipe? No, I saw a picture on Instagram and I just tried to copy it. Here we go. Okay, put it back in. Yeah, I think it's good to attempt a little bit of baking, even if you're no Mary Berry. I think that it's just good to apply yourself to something like baking and you can find that maybe you have a skill that you didn't know you had. In my case, though, I definitely do not have a skill at baking. I don't know. I just don't have a natural flair for it. I prefer cooking dinners. My mum and my sister both like baking and they're both quite good at it. But I don't know. It's just I can just about manage to do fairy cakes but I do need to closely follow a recipe. Uh, <laughs> this is when you spot someone who used to be in Neighbours, now in an American Netflix series. Could you read this email for me? Mm. <laughs> sure. I'm sorry I didn't show up last night. It's not that I've met someone else. It's just that I'd like to. <laughs> I'll uh, mail you your key. I'm such a big Neighbours fan. If somebody leaves Neighbours and then pops up in an American Netflix series donning an American accent some years later, I will be all over it and I will notice. And Jenna Rose now, who played Amber, I notice. Is it like? That's a good look. Tastes good? Mmm. I'm gonna try some. Mmm. Happy with it? Mmm. Yeah, hey, you should try some of this. It's really nice. 